Hey guys, so today we're gonna be setting up our new Mudra link using the Mudra link app. I have my new Mudra link here and I'll show you how to do it. So to download the app, you can go to our website and then go to getting started. You have the options for the Mudra link app and the Mudra band app. So we'll go to the Mudra link app. You have um, a version for Mac OS and a version for Windows. So just download the one that's relevant for your operating system. I already have it downloaded. So we'll just go ahead and open up our app. All right, so I already have an account. I'm gonna just sign in. If you don't have an account, you can just go ahead and create a new one. All right, so first of all, you're gonna get here. We're gonna to wanna to add our new device. So click add device, press the power button until you see an orange LED blinking. So let's go ahead and take out our link and do that. So we want to press the on off button and you will see an orange light blinking. We'll continue. And then we want to select it on our Bluetooth settings. So let's go to our Bluetooth. On Windows, it works the exact same. It'll just be on your Windows computer. So we want to find the Mudra device and hit connect. All right, now you can see it's already detected it and connected. So let's start the setup flow. Now, the first time you use the Mudra link, you have to do the onboarding to learn how to use it. Um, but after that, you don't need the app to actually use it or connect to other devices. The first, thing, the first thing you'll need to do is to do a firmware update. Let's go ahead and update that. Okay, great, that's finished. So let's go ahead and continue. Now we're gonna select the hand you use. I'm gonna put it on my left hand. Okay, avoid bending the band. We wanna keep it safe. So let's learn how to wear the Mudra link correctly. So the electrodes should um, be in the bottom of the wrist. All right. The power button should be facing me. So the power button is right here and it wants be, it should be facing me. Let's go ahead and put that on. The band should sit a little bit behind my wrist bone. So my wrist bone's here. We're going to place it a little bit behind it. And we want to make sure that it's tight so that the sensors are touching my skin. And the, the center mark should be centered on the bottom of my wrist. All right, we're all set, so let's continue. All right, so now we're gonna actually start the Mudra Link tutorials where we're gonna learn how to use the Mudra Link and do all the gestures. So Mudra Link has two modes. We have mouse mode and the keyboard mode. Um, as you can see, the mouse mode, you control the cursor and in keyboard mode, um, the gestures act as specific keyboard keys. Okay, let's start learning the mouse mode gestures. So a little explanation about the mouse mode. All right, so hand position. You wanna keep your elbows steady and in place. Keep your arms straight and move only your forearm. And we wanna avoid big movements or movements of the wrist. So it should only be your whole forearm moving. All right, let's practice. So we wanna turn on the air touch. So to turn it on, we need to Press once until the LED light turns green. So as you can see, the LED is currently flashing green. And if we give it one press, it's a steady green and the air touch is on. All right, so we got him hover over it using the hand gesture we just, the hand gesture position we just learned. So we move our whole forearm and hover over the little dots. Try not to move your wrists and keep your elbows steady. All right, nice job, we did it. Let's continue. And we wanna put it on standby again, like that. All right, now we're gonna learn how to do the tap. So to tap, we need to tap our index finger and thumb together. Um, and this actually acts like the left click on a mouse. We wanna make sure that we're tapping with the pads of our fingers. Okay, let's practice this one. So we gotta turn on our air touch and then we can continue. So we wanna tap on the dot. So I bring my mouse and 
tap. Nice and tap. Nice and tap. And one more time. All right. And we want to put it back on standby and continue. The world's first pressure sensing. So basically, we're the first ones that have a device that can, can actually sense the pressure that you're putting between your fingers and not just the movement. So when you press your fingers together, you're going to actually be able to see the pressure level go up and down accordingly. So let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm not pressing anything. And as you can see, the pressure level is low and I can actually control the pressure. I'm pressing really hard now and I'm trying to get to the middle now to actually control it. And you can actually play with this and see the technology. All right, let's continue. So to pinch and hold, it's basically like clicking a, lot, a button and holding it down so you can drag things. Um, you basically just pinch and hold the pressure between your index finger and your thumb. All right, let's turn it on so we can practice. Okay, so we wanna pinch and hold this little circle and drag it over here. Nice, we wanna do that one more time. Nice, now we gotta place a slider on nine so we gotta pinch and drag it all the way to number nine. And so let's pinch and drag and place it on number three. Amazing. All right, we can continue. All right, we put it on standby. All right, so we basically finished the basics of, ma of mouse mode. You have a few links here that you can actually click and play that can, you can actually use the mouse mode on. Um, we're gonna skip that for now, but you should try it out and play when you do it. All right, so now we finished mouse mode and now we can go ahead and learn the gestures of the keyboard mode. So in keyboard mode, there's no cursor. Um, the gestures are actually binded to specific keyboard keys, like the arrow keys. We'll have a look soon. So we need to switch to keyboard mode. To switch modes, you press the power button twice in a row and the LED should be pink when it's on keyboard mode. So right now we're on green. If we give it two clicks, you'll see the LED is pink and we're now on keyboard mode. Now we wanna put it on standby so that we can focus on the videos. So to pinch and slide, you actually pinch and move it to the direction that you want to go in. And this acts like the up, down, left and right arrow keys on your keyboard. Again, just like in the hand position, you wanna move only your forearm and keep your elbow fixed. And remember to hold the pressure when you're moving it to each side. Okay, let's practice. So we have to turn on air touch on keyboard mode. All right, let's try to go in each direction. So we got a left and I'm holding it and letting it go. We wanna go right, wanna go down and let's go up. All right. And let's put it back on standby. So double tap is like doing enter or selecting. You wanna just do two taps in a row quickly. All right, let's practice. Let's turn on air touch. And let's do a double tap. Nice, let's do it one more time. There you go, amazing. Now let's put it all together. Let's pinch and slide and try to get to the little square with the mudra on it and then double tap to select it. So we wanna pinch and drag it to the sides. I can go in whatever side I want, go down, up. We wanna to go to the mudra. So pinch it down and double tap to select it. Nice. And let's put it on standby again. Nice, so now we mastered keyboard mode and now you can actually have a few experiences to practice and get better at keyboard mode. We'll skip that for now. All right, congratulations. You mastered the basic gestures of mudra. All right, that's it. So you actually finished the setup now. Our Mudra link is up and running and you can actually already go ahead and connect it to other devices if you want or keep using it on your computer. You can also explore the features that we have in the app. So for example, in the control settings, you can, can, you can control the pointer speed. You can actually switch modes and see the gestures through the app. 
Um, and in the Neural Explorer, you can actually see the pressure level that you saw during the onboarding. And you can see the neural signals. So I can move my finger and actually see my real-time neural signals. All right, so we're basically done here for today. Um, we would love to hear about your Moodrelink experience with setting it up or what devices and use cases you use it for. Feel free to always contact us at support at mudra-band.com and let us know.